subscribe and hit the bell icon. The Komodo Dragon. Hi everybody, my name is Leo. I am a junior ranger. And this is my puppy, Hero. What is it, Hero? What did you find? Hero, it's an egg. Did you scare the bird away from her egg? An egg is one of the ways a baby animal gets born. Most eggs have shells that protect the baby animal inside. The baby bird will have to crack open the shell and push its way out. See, it's pretty hard. We need to find a warm place to put the egg so that it will hatch. Great idea, Hero. Let's bring it to the tree house. I think the baby bird is coming out. That's weird. Baby birds don't look like that. It's not a bird. It's a lizard. I wonder how it got here. You know what we should do? Let's make a photo and send it to my sister Katie. She is also a junior ranger. Now hold still, little lizard. Hi, Katie. Did you find anything? You're just in time, brother. The computer is looking for information about the lizard. Bingo! This lizard is a Komodo dragon. A dragon? Yes, a Komodo dragon. It's a type of lizard. Despite its name, it doesn't breathe fire. <laughs> it's also known as the Komodo monitor. Where does it come from? Komodo dragons are found mainly on the islands of Southeast Asia. The Komodo dragon you found comes from here. So what do Komodo dragons eat? Komodo dragons eat other animals, such as birds, mammals, and other lizards. It's a carnivore. Baby Komodo dragons eat insects and other small animals. Hmm, there aren't that many insects in our garden. We should bring baby Komodo back to the island it came from. Come and join us. That's a great idea, Leo. See you downstairs. Hero? <gasps> Baby Komodo is gone! Where did he go? <coughs> Let's follow Hero! There you are, Hero! <coughs> oh no! Baby Komodo is being chased by an adult Komodo dragon! We need to help baby Komodo. What should we do? Wait, the baby dragon is almost at that tree. He's safe if he can climb up. Oh no! A second Komodo dragon appeared. To scare away a Komodo dragon, we need to make loud noises. Loud noises? Okay, hero, you know what to do. Look, the Komodo dragons are confused because of the noise. I've got you, baby Komodo. Great job, everyone. Hmm, what should we look for now? Hello, Junior Rangers. Ranger, Ranger Rocky. Rocky. If you want to keep baby Komodo safe, 
just find an empty spot in a tree. Not far out at sea, or with a lizard family, but an empty spot in a tree. I see. So not far out at sea, or with a lizard family, but, but an, an empty, empty spot, spot in, in a tree. tree. Thank you, Ranger Rocky. Okay, Hero. To find a safe spot for baby Komodo, we need an empty spot in a tree. Good luck! Okay, Hero. There are a few dots on your radar. One of them might be an empty spot in a tree. Is this tree empty? No, it's not. That's a hawk! They even hunt for small animals. So let's continue. What's this? Hmm, that is a lizard family. We'd better keep looking. Is this tree empty? It is! Good work, Hero. We're coming over. We did it! We found an empty spot in a tree for the baby Komodo dragon. Great work, everyone. Hooray! Yay! We found a young Komodo dragon in our garden. We learned that a Komodo dragon is a lizard. So we went to the rainforest and found a safe, empty spot in a tree. Good job, children. You did it. You are amazing wildlife rangers. The Malayan Taper. Hi, everybody. My name is Leo. I am a junior ranger, and this is my puppy, Hero. Do you want to see what's inside this book? It's filled with animals that can camouflage. Camouflage means the animal can hide in the environment because of its skin or fur. Look, here's a picture of an owl on a tree branch. Can you see it? And this tiger is really hard to see in the high grass. Camouflage helps animals hide from predators, but sometimes it helps the predator so it can sneak up on other animals. Hey, maybe there's an animal hiding in our garden right now. Let's try to find it. How strange. Could this be an animal? Hey, it is an animal. I wonder what animal this is. I know. Let's take a photo and send it to my sister Katie. She is also a junior ranger. Hold still, little one. Hi, Katie. So did you find out what animal it is? Hi, Leo. The animal you found is a baby Malayan tapir, also known as an Asian tapir. A Malayan tapir? There are five different types of tapirs, but Malayan tapirs are the only tapirs found in Asia. Why does the baby tapir look so different from its mother? That's because the fur coat of the baby tapir acts as camouflage and helps it blend in with the forest floor. It makes it hard for other animals to hunt them. When the Malayan taper gets older, its coat starts to fade and it will look just like its parents. I see. What about the food they eat? Malayan tapers feed on leaves, fruits, and plants. They use their long snouts as hands, which they use to pick their food. That sounds handy. Malayan tapers live in rainforests in different countries in Southeast Asia. The one you found comes from this place. It must be lost without its mother. And its camouflage doesn't work very well in our garden. We should bring it back home. Come and join us. Great idea, Leo. I'm sure the baby taper would love that. See you downstairs. Come on! 
another one? We're getting close. What was that? Did anyone hear that? Taper can run! Oh no! The tiger is trying to catch the baby Taper! Hero, be careful! Wait, they're coming back! Leo, use this! Good idea, Katie. Let's hope this works. Now! Now let's get the jeep here. The tiger didn't appear yet, so I think it worked. But what about Hero? Don't worry about Hero. His nose can lead him here. Quickly, let's go in the jeep. Oh no! Something's coming. Hero! Hero. Good work, Hero. Now let's go. What should we look for now? Hello, Junior Rangers. Ranger, Ranger Rocky. Rocky. If you want to find the Mother Taper, just look for the colors black and white. Not for a flashlight or a dragon kite, but look for the colors black and white. I see. So not for a flashlight or a dragon kite, but, but look, look for, for the, the colors, colors black, black and white. white. Thank you, Ranger Rocky. Okay, Hero, to find the baby Taper's mother, you have to look for the colors black and white. Good luck. <laughs> okay, Hero, there are a few dots in your radar. One of them might be the mother of the baby Taper. Is that the baby Taper's mother? Hmm, that's a rock. Let's continue. Can you see what's in the water? That's right. Those are otters in the water. So let's look somewhere else. What's that? Is that black and white? Yes, it is. Hey, it's moving. It's the Mother Taper! Great work, Hero! We're coming over! We did it! We found the Baby Taper's mother! Great work, everyone! Hooray! Yay! a baby Malayan taper in our garden. We learned that the Malayan taper lives near riverbanks with lots of shade. So we went to the rainforest and brought it back home to its mother. Good job, children. You did it. You are amazing wildlife rangers. The greater mouse deer. Hi everybody, my name is Leo and I am a junior ranger and this is my puppy Hero. I'm picking blueberries. Look how ripe they are. Mmm, and they taste really fresh and sweet. Let's pick blueberries together. It'll be fun. That's strange. Where have the blueberries gone? They were right here a moment ago. Look, they're disappearing. <coughs> what is it, Hero? <coughs> is that a deer? Hmm, it looks like a deer, but it's so small. You know what we should do? Let's take a photo and send it to my sister Katie. She is also a junior ranger. Hold still, little guy. Hi, Katie. So if it's not a deer, what is it? Hi, Leo. The animal you've just found is a mouse deer. It's called a mouse deer because it has hooves, like a deer. 
but its face and body is similar to that of a mouse. There are different types of mouse deer, and the one you found is called a greater mouse deer. Why is it called a greater mouse deer? That's because of all the different mouse deer, it's the largest. Still, mouse deer are small in size compared to other hoofed animals. In fact, they are the smallest hoofed animals in the world. Being small helps them hide better in the wild. They have long pencil thin legs that make them quick on their feet. They are also nocturnal animals, which means they are active during the night. This is why the mouse deer is almost never seen. I see. We almost missed it eating our blueberries. The greater mouse deer likes to eat fruits, but they also eat leaves and aquatic plants. By the way, it lives in different countries in Southeast Asia. The one you found comes from this place. Hmm, I don't think there are enough blueberries in our garden. We should return it to its home. Come and join us. That's a great idea, Leo. See you downstairs. We'll have to walk the rest of the way. Come on, everybody. <laughs> what is it, Hero? The mouse deer is gone? Where is it? It's so hard to see anything here. <coughs> what was that? The mouse deer might be in danger. Hero, lead the way. The mouse deer is trapped. This must be one of the animal traps Ranger Rocky warned us about. I can't lift the door. I think there's some kind of lock on it. That's it, Hero. Let's all dig a hole together. That's a great idea. We can make a tunnel for the mouse deer. Almost there. It's still not big enough. We can use this. It's working. You can do it, mouse deer. We did it. We saved the mouse deer. Yay! Hmm. What should we look for now? Hello, Junior Rangers. Ranger, Ranger Rocky. Rocky. If you want to find the greater mouse deer's home, just follow the moonlight, not a blue kite or a brave night, but follow the moonlight. I see. So not a blue kite or a brave night, but, but follow, follow the, the moonlight. moonlight. Thank you, Ranger Rocky. OK, Hero, to find the mouse deer's home, you have to follow the moonlight. Good luck. Hero, there are a few dots on your radar. One of them might be the mouse deer's home. There are lights. Is that moonlight? Hmm, no it's not. Those are fireflies. So let's continue. What do you think that is? That's right, it's moonlight. The trail seems to be leading somewhere. Let's follow it. Can you see what that is? That's right. It's a stream. This place must be the mouse deer's home. Great work, Hero. We're coming over. Look, another mouse deer. And they recognize each other. We did it. We found the mouse deer's home. Great job, everybody. Hooray! Yay! a greater mouse deer in our garden. 
We learned that the mouse deer feeds on fruits and plants and lives close to water and forest undergrowth. So we went to the rainforest and brought it back home. Good job, children. You did it. You are amazing wildlife rangers. The plantain squirrel. Hi, everybody. My name is Leo. I am a junior ranger. And this is my puppy, Hero. Oh, this is my collection of seeds. Seeds come from plants, and they make the same plants. Seeds come in many different shapes, colors, and sizes. I want to sort all of them into these bowls. The small ones go here, the long ones go here, and the big ones go into the last bowl. Hey, are you eating my seed collection? Hmm, I think it's a squirrel, but it sounds like a little bird. You know what we should do? Let's take a photo and send it to my sister Katie. She is also a junior ranger. Hi Katie, did you find anything? Hi Leo, I sure did. It seems that the squirrel you found is a plantain squirrel. Plantain squirrels live in trees and they belong to a group of squirrels called tree squirrels. As a tree squirrel, the plantain squirrel is a very good climber. Its curved claws provide a good grip when it climbs trees. It uses its long and bushy tail for balance when it jumps from place to place. The tail of our squirrel doesn't look very long and bushy. That's because it's very young. It's only around five to six weeks old. Baby squirrels at this stage are around half the size of an adult squirrel. I see. So what kind of food do plantain squirrels eat? Normally, plantain squirrels eat fruits, seeds, insects, and sometimes even bird eggs. But since the squirrel you found is still a baby, it needs to feed on its mother's milk to grow into a strong adult squirrel. Plantain squirrels live in different countries in Southeast Asia. The one you found comes from this place. Then let's go there and return the baby squirrel to its nest and mother, since it still needs proper care and food. Come and join us. Great idea, Leo. See you downstairs. What do you see, Leo? There's a nest up in that tree. Maybe it belongs to the baby squirrel's family. Come on, everybody. Let's have a look. It doesn't seem very friendly. It's flicking its tail and chittering very loudly. It's trying to scare us away. This nest must belong to that squirrel. I guess we should keep looking. Don't worry, little friend. We'll make sure we find your home. Another nest. Maybe this is its home. Oh no, we have to save it. I can't climb this tree. I'll use my propeller. No, Leo. The propeller might hit the squirrel. Use your jetpack instead. You're right, Katie. Here I go. Oh no, it's too late. Whoa! That was amazing, baby squirrel. That was exciting. I guess we better go somewhere else. So what should we look for now? Hello, Junior Rangers. Ranger, Ranger Rocky. Rocky. If you want to find the baby squirrel's home, 
just look for a chittering nest. Not for a treasure chest or a colorful vest, but look for a chittering nest. I see. So not for a treasure chest or a colorful vest, but, but look, look for, for a, a chittering, chittering nest. nest. Thank you, Ranger Rocky. Okay, Hero, to find the baby squirrel's home, you have to look for a chittering nest. Good luck! Hero, there are a few dots on your radar. One of them might be the plantain squirrel's home. Could that be the baby squirrel's home? Hmm, that doesn't sound like chittering. And the plantain squirrel nests are up in the trees, not in the ground. Let's continue. Is that the baby squirrel's home? Hmm, it sounds like chittering. Oh wait, that's a bird's nest. Let's look somewhere else. Is that the baby squirrel's home? There's a chittering sound coming from inside the nest. Look! There's the mother squirrel. Great work, Hero. We're coming over. Goodbye, little friend. We did it. We found the baby squirrel's home. Great job, everyone. Hooray! Yay! We found a baby plantain squirrel in our garden. We learned that plantain squirrels sound like birds when they chitter and that they are amazing tree climbers. So we went to the forest and brought it back home to its nest. Good job, children. You did it. You are amazing wildlife rangers.